Hi guys, in this video I want to share with you how to edit Japanese film style photography. But before we start, I want to remind you it doesn't matter which software you use and you don't have to remember all the numbers. What you need to remember is the concept of the style. If you look at Japanese styles, you will notice most of the time the images look a little bit overexposed. They won't be very contrasty and there will be some blue or green tone. As for film style, you might notice the black and white are not completely black and white. There will be some gray in them and you might want to add some film grain so that the shadow and the highlight areas will have more texture. Let's adjust the curve first. We want the black to look not so black and white not so white. Make sure you add an anchor point so that the mid-tone can remain the same. And then we have to lift the black and lower the white. We can make an S-shaped curve to maintain a little bit of the contrast. And we also want the image to have a cyan tone. So we will lift the blue and the green just a little bit. Right now, the image looks a little bit weird, but don't worry, we will also adjust the red channel so that the colors are more balanced. I will also increase the exposure, but right now the highlight area is blown out, so I will drag it down. And I will also increase the shadow and the black so that the entire image is brighter. Next, in the color panel, Basically, we want to decrease the saturation of all the colors except for orange and blue or depending on the image you have, it might be cyan and red. We will lift the brightness of warm colors and I will also shift the red towards more orange. I'm going to lower the brightness of green and cyan so that the blue can stand out and form a color contrast with orange. We can also dehaze just a little bit, add some sunlight to make the image look warmer, and then add some vignetting so that our subject can stand out. Don't forget to maximize the feathering so that the vignetting effect will look more discreet. Our final step is to add some film grains. Just a tiny bit is enough to add some texture to the photo, but if you don't like it, you can just skip this step. For now, if you think the style is still not strong enough, we can go to color enhancer panel and adjust the tone of our shadow, the mid-tone and highlight areas. If you are using Lightroom to edit, you can do this step in the color grading panel. This is more of a personal taste. You can try different colors and no matter which color you choose, it's going to look pretty Japanese. Now let's look at our before and after. We can also copy all the adjustment we just did and paste it to another photo and it will still work. I think this kind of style works better for the images that are taken in good lighting condition. It probably won't look that good for low light photos. I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know in the comment area if you have any questions and let me know how you think about Japanese film style. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.